Welcome back everyone to a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys how to enable animated wallpapers on your windows backdrop this can be any there's a huge variety pretty sure up to thousands of wallpapers you guys can get on your windows wallpaper but this will cost you three dollars uh actually 3.99 but there's also tax so somewhere around 3.25 so all you got to do is open up your steam and then you're going to download this thing called wallpaper engine i'll have that link in the description i'm not going to open up my steam to show you guys because i don't want you guys stealing my information once you guys have downloaded this and opened it up, you're just going to open up Wallpaper Engine. And um, I'll show you guys everything that you need to know. So um, what you guys are going to pop up with is in the beginning, you're just going to have to go through all the settings. Just skip all that. And then here we got the settings. Kyle. Let's start off with this. So the first thing you got to do is in here, the performance playback. This is going to affect the playback because um, this thing does take out a bit of your CPU. But if you guys, if you guys want to know how much... CPU this takes up if I go into task manager right now. Why do I have two instances of this running? Um, I'm gonna turn off this one real fast because I don't need two of those running at the same time I'll be as you can see here. It only takes up about 1.2 percent of your CPU at a time to have this running in the background So it's very very cool and the main thing that you guys want to do is when you're in settings Whenever you are in another application, you want this thing to be paused so that it's not taking up any of your RAM. So um, all you guys want to do in playback is have all of these in pause. And then for this one, you want to have a keep running and display. When the display is asleep, you also want to have it free um, to have it stop. So this pretty much when you're not actually on your backdrop, it'll have the wallpaper just frozen so that it doesn't take up any unnecessary processor. Um, percentage that you might be able to want on um, here the quality you can change this but the higher each of these are the better quality you'll get my resolutions on full you can put this all up to the max fps but i'm capping mine at 30 just so it doesn't take up too much um of my cpu it won't take up that much more and then this isn't as important but you can change that based on what you want and then over here it's as simple as just clicking whichever one you want if i click it it'll automatically start working as you can see there so that one's deep space um these ones all here are the default ones we got this weird one which is actually quite cool uh i'm gonna quickly turn my settings up to 60 frames and show you how much um memory takes up now so if i put it up to 60 frames it's going to put it up to around two percent memory but it will look a little bit nicer at 60 frames i'm not gonna lie so i'd recommend putting it at max first and then working your way down based on your pc's performance i'm gonna keep mine at 60 if i notice any drops in my um gameplay when i'm playing a game i'll just turn that off but um we also have dna fragment retro um I, that one's actually quite cool but yeah if you guys want to find any more that aren't the one two three four one two three four the 16 default ones which they do have which are quite cool all you guys gotta do is go to discover once you're in discover let me full screen this you guys can pick any single one that you want so um in here you can upvote whichever ones you want so if you go to um popular ones these are all the popular ones all you guys got to do is easily download them from there if you go to workshop this is where you can find them even easier so in here in the suggestions you can pick whichever kind of genre you want so there's um unspecified which will just give you a bit of random options what the heck there's a bacon one it's as easy as just downloading it like that, and um, and it'll automatically add. Um, but then yeah, there's abstract genre, which is my personal favorite. I think it looks the nicest. There's a bunch of animal ones. There's a bunch of anime ones, cartoon, CGI, cyberpunk, fantasy, game, girls, guys, landscape, medieval, memes, uh, uh, just a bunch of like different genres. I'm not gonna go through all of them because there are a bunch. Um, you can also turn on age rating so that. I don't know, man. There's mature and questionable, and then everyone. There is type. There is tags, which are the uh, genres, and then there's resolution. So you can pick how um high resolution there are. These go up to 4K. If you only want 4K, you can turn on that. But yeah, um, that's pretty much all there is to it. If if you guys have any more questions on how to use this in the background, oh, before we end the video, um, there's also audio to some of these, so I'd recommend turning off the audio. Not all of them will have audio, but if any of them have audio, I'd just recommend turning them off because there's no point in having audio. Um, there's also background accent. This pretty much, you can legit customize the individual background and change the color of the whole background by yourself, which I think is really, really cool. So if I wanted to have a white, that actually looks really nice. So you can go through all these. I, Guys, this is totally worth $4. It barely takes up any CPU. If I go back here, it's at like, of around two point what percent it, it, it 
hovers between 0 0.8 and like maximum 3. So I definitely recommend there's just a bunch of cu customization to this. But yeah, if you guys have any questions and if this did help you guys out, make sure to drop a like. That would help out a lot because um, I think this is a very useful video. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Don't want to waste any more of your time. Subscribe with the video there and I'll see you guys all in the next video.